personal leadership course I thought was quite helpful in helping me understand what types of leadership come naturally to me and what are the forms that I tend to lead people in. The leadership development plan was really interesting to put together because you see where your strengths and weaknesses lie right now and it allows you to think short term what can you practice on while you're here at Tuck and Tuck provides plenty of opportunities to take a leadership role and then also where you want to be four or five years down the road and how to build along that path, uh, build your leadership abilities even further. So one of the things that I worked on was taking more of a coaching role and being able to uh, take that extra time to make sure that other people uh, felt that their skills were improving. And if I had some expertise in something to make sure that I took that extra half hour to impart that to someone else and vice versa. You know, if I needed help on something, I would ask and say, you know, hey, can you coach me on this for 15 to 30 minutes? And see that development um, on both sides is, is really beneficial. One of the pieces of feedback that I got is the self-awareness point is extremely important and it comes through when you are talking about your values and your vision. You really need to make sure that your behavior is in line with what you're talking about and what you're saying to other people, especially when you're in that leadership role. So being able to hold yourself to that really high standard and make sure that you act with integrity and act with the values that you're espousing. And that's what draws people to follow. That's uh, what allows you to become a natural leader where you don't have to be directive or force people to do things, they just want to be a part of it.